Jeff Banks. You've worked long and hard to get to where you are in your career and you've been well credited for it as well. Um, is there any advice that you'd give to someone that's starting out in their creative career? Um, I think uh, you've got to be a salesman. Um, I think that's the early lesson that I learned. It doesn't matter whether you're going to be a designer, an engineer, an accountant, whatever your career is, you've actually got to sell yourself and you've got to sell whatever industry that you're in. So uh, I tend to have kind of always made a thing about making sure I know how to sell something. Uh, so thinking yeah. about it from a business perspective, perhaps? Uh, not just business. You know, it doesn't matter what you're doing. You know, whether or not you're doing something for charity, whether you're doing something in religion, at some stage, you've actually got to get up and get your message across. And whatever you want to call it, it's still selling. So I think selling and presentation is vital. Mm. Um, what's your favourite part of the day in the life of Jeff Banks? Um, living till the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> making it through. <laughs> yeah. yeah, making it through every day. Um, I don't know, I, I've got, I lead a charmed life. I mean, I'm very lucky because uh, everything that I do... Um, I actually get enormous pleasure out of doing it, so it's a lot of fun. Mm. Uh, so there, there's no particular thing that I'd say, oh, you know, do I like shopping for ideas in New York? Do I like going to China to look after my shops there? Do I like the week in Japan that I spend twice a year? Do I like presenting the Melbourne Cup in Australia for the races? I mean, whatever it is, um, I'm just really lucky. And what's next in the world of Just Banks? Um, I suppose uh, for me coming up is Graduate Fashion Week in about four weeks' time. And that's uh, something I started 20 years ago. It's the 20th anniversary this year. Uh, it's sponsored by Asda this year. Um, so that's a big fest when 39 design universities come to London. Uh, they all show their collections and we have a big gala night at the end of it. And um, we've had, you know, some fantastic people through, you know, like Chris Bailey, who's the chief designer at Burberry, Alexander McQueen, Stella McCartney. So really lots of fantastic people have come through that week. Mm. So that's very exciting for me. Um, and then uh, the next thing uh, that I've got uh, straight after that is I've, I'm just launching a new competition around all the race courses in Britain called Fashion on the Field, which is being sponsored by Debenhams, and that's where men and women can turn up at the races and have their outfit judged and win a fairly fat prize. So uh, that's a big launch that I've got going on in August. Um, so, yeah, a lot's coming up. That's great. just want to ask you some comparative questions, if hmm. I may. So we've got pinstripes or single colour? Um, depends, uh, you know, what the job is that you do. At the moment, uh, I'd say single colour. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is that pinstripes tend to smack of banking. And uh, bankers are not too highly thought of at the moment, so <laughs> you're better off disguising yourself in a, in a plain suit. Uh -huh. Thank you. Um, top hat or bowler? Um, two different reasons for those hats. Um, uh, the, the bowler hat actually is a form of protection. So when uh, Anthony Bowler invented the bowler hat in Cambridge, he did it for carriage drivers. It was made out of leather. Uh, and it's if they fell off their carriage, they wouldn't hurt their heads. So bowler hats are always associated with sort of protective wear. It's also associated with bankers as well, isn't it, the bowler? Uh, it, back in the day? It, well, back in the day, bankers wore top hats. So originally in the Stock Exchange and in the Bank of England, um, they always wore top hats, which were made out of rabbit fur. Um, so... Again, a top hat um, is actually uh, a sign, and the taller the top hat, the wealthier the occupant, <laughs> whereas distinct from a bowler that was used as a bit of protective mm. headwear. Okay. Uh, single or double-breasted? Single-breasted at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, boxes or briefs? Um, depends on the girlfriend. You know. <laughs> uh, some girls like their boys in uh, briefs, and others... Uh, if they've got a bit of a beer belly, would say boxers only. And for some obscure reason, the best-selling men's underpants shape in Britain is a thong. No way. Uh, um, it's fact. Yeah. <laughs> there you are. That's a surprise, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, there we are. Oh, that's so great. Thank you so much for talking to us today. Thank you. And good luck with everything. Thanks a lot. Thank you.